It's basically a bunch of shops in one big store. Waldrick. Good morning guys from the city of Wall, South Dakota. We are at the long awaited Wall Drug Store. We told you guys about it in the last video. There are billboards all over the whole state. So they're scattered throughout South Dakota. We've been driving for about two hours, three hours, and we've probably seen 40 of them, 50. Yeah. And we looked it up and there's 200 signs in South Dakota. And the weird part about these signs is they're all hand painted, they're all very different, and they don't tell you where wall drug is. They just keep saying, wall drug, free ice water. <laughs> they don't tell you where it is, they don't tell you what it is. No, there is no exit sign. Wall drug, it doesn't... So what are you supposed to think? Wall drug, you have no idea I'll what like, that means. Wall drug, wall drug dinosaur. with a dinosaur. <laughs> like, what? Or yeah. like, wall drug with like a man in a bathtub. Like, so it's this very mysterious thing you see all over the state keep popping up and you're like, what is that? How do I go? What do I do there? Why should I be interested except that it's so mysterious? And you know what? That's actually not bad marketing because it makes you curious because you yeah. keep seeing it so it's in your brain, wall drug, wall drug. And then you look it up and we figured out it's basically this little town called Wall and it's a tourist destination in a way. You can stop and get food. Food, souvenirs. souvenirs. So it's kind of like a dining experience, kind of like a tourist attraction at this point. But it's been there for over 80 years. Almost 100 years this place has been here, and I think it started out as just a drugstore. <laughs> so weary travelers, after traveling on these long roads across the state, would stop there and these people that own the place 80 years ago, 50 years ago, they would give people free ice water and that's how they would attract <laughs> customers to get there. And then it just blew up and became a thing. I think we actually might be near the town of Wall. So if we are, we will definitely stop and see what all these signs are talking about. basically a bunch of shops in one big store. Wall drug. <laughs> really interesting place. There's a little church in here. Drug store, book store. Old pictures of the Native Americans who lived here. Western Art Gallery Cafe. Let's see what kind of food is in here. <laughs> so we're at the Wall Drug Cafe. We're about to order some food. Uh, I'm gonna get the American breakfast. I haven't had one of those in a while. And I think we're gonna get five cent coffee. They advertise five cent coffee on all the billboards we were seeing. We didn't know if it was actually true, but it seems like it is. So Alex is gonna get that. <laughs> so here, this is the five cent coffee. That's unheard of in the US. <laughs> I'm interested to see how the flavor is gonna be. Yeah. Try it. We'll try it, it's kinda hot. <laughs> Don't burn yourself. <laughs> Not the best coffee in <laughs> the world. Tastes like five cents. I've had worse. <laughs> yeah. All right, and, and then, uh, we always like to tell you about how much we're paying when we travel, and so this meal was kind of expensive because we're in the US now, so US prices. We paid $27 for coffee, two breakfast meals essentially, and a maple donut. This was $2. And the coffee was five cents, so you barely, you barely yeah. tacked that on. So almost $30 for this. Two plates, one is just, yeah. Lindsay got this breakfast sandwich, so that is half the cost. This place is very touristy, it has a lot of character. We're doing it more for the experience. 
so it's pretty cool here. I'd say it's better than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's really interesting. We haven't tried the food yet. Hopefully the food is good and lives up to its price. Let's try the donut. But if not, the experience is what you pay for. Wow. <laughs> it's like crispy on the outside and super fluffy and cakey on the inside. Look at this buttered toast. In the U.S. they use a lot <laughs> of butter and it's just dripping off of that. Wow. You can lather up your body with just one piece. And then the hash browns, these are potatoes for those who are from another country. Potato pieces put into a little fried triangle. <laughs> yeah, the U.S. they like to use butter and grease and all that. Mm -hmm. Fry it. It's not the healthiest food, but it's dang good. <laughs> Actually not bad for five cents. Not bad when you put a bunch of stuff in it. Look Have at you seen this? Mess. Those are coffee creamers and sugars. Look at it. But it's pretty good now. Okay, we're about to leave to Custer State Park. But before we do, there's supposed to be a dinosaur outside. We've been seeing it all over the billboard, so we have to go find it. That was the best donut I've ever had. If you guys come to South mm -hmm. Dakota, make sure you come here. We have spotted the dinosaur. How random is that? Random. So it says here every 12 minutes, he eats. I think we just missed it when we came in. He was like, Wah! and now he's all calm. So, hello, hello. one dollar to get your fortune told by old Pappy. Do I talk into this? <laughs> Hello? Uh, you listen into that? <laughs> Alex made a new best friend. I've got a lot of ground to do. Ooh, another windy day. Now we're back on the road heading to Custer State Park and then we are heading to Mount Rushmore after that. We have about wow. an hour drive and we'll be there. It's not the most exciting thing in the world to a lot of people, but Mount Rushmore, it's one of the most famous, iconic things that everyone has seen pictures of, they know about it. And so I have wanted to see Mount Rushmore my whole life, just, just to see it. So for the people that don't know what it is, Mount Rushmore has the faces of presidents, past presidents on a mountain. Like It's like a sculpture built in rock. They're carved into the stone. Yeah, so that is actually in South Dakota. It's not really close to anything else. It's a pretty random location. Nowhere. Yeah, so a lot of people never see it their whole lives because you're probably not gonna be in this area for anything else. So it's, uh, it's pretty nice that we happen to be going to South Dakota and that we'll be able to see this. I didn't know if I'd ever see it my whole life. Why would I go to South Dakota? But Until they met me, a Minnesota yeah. girl who wasn't too far away from yeah, so that'll be really cool. Iconic place. Okay, we just entered Custer State Park, South Dakota. So right now we're on Wildlife Loop Road. So Custer State Park has an abundance of wildlife. There are prairie dogs here, just like we saw at Badlands. A lot of prairie dogs around. There are deer, a bunch of different birds. Donkeys. Donkeys that come up right to your car. And then there are buffalo. So we're really hoping to see some buffalo. There are a lot of them. They kind of stay in herds. So if we see them, we'll see a lot. On the wildlife loop, that's 
uh, where it gets its name from, is that you can see a lot of the wildlife, specifically <laughs> on this road and on this drive. So we'll be on this for a little while and we'll show you what we see. right next to the car. So there's a buffalo in the road right now. The all these the road. all these cars are stopped, so I'm going to go take a look really quick. Look at all these cars that were stopped behind it. <laughs> like 50 cars behind that buffalo. A big tunnel. Alright, we're walking through the tunnel. I'm gonna get her on the other side here. Look at that thing. Okay, now we're on Needles Highway. It's more than a 14 mile road. It's a great drive through pine and spruce forests, meadows surrounded by birch and aspen, and granite mountains. The road's name comes from needle-like granite formations, which seem to pierce the horizon along the highway. And there are a bunch of spruce and pine trees all around as well. This is Sylvan Lake. Now we're coming to a lake. Wow. Sylvan Lake, it's gorgeous. We're on the edge. Look, Look at that. <laughs> it's too cold for Lindsay. This wind is so cold. So, Awesome view of this lake and the pinnacles there, but we gotta go. Ah, good old USA. A lot of people across the world think that the USA is pretty much like California and New York, like the big cities like Los Angeles, Hollywood, but there are a lot of national parks and there is actually a lot of beauty in the US, things like this, all over the place. So I suggest if you haven't been to the US to travel, you should give it a try. Rent a van, rent a car, go on a road trip. The US is the place for road trips. Wow, that was very cool. Oh my, it's there. <laughs> I can't believe wow. it. I've dreamt about this place. <laughs> uh, na, 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 na. There it is. I can't believe we're here. Like I was saying before, this place is very famous in the US. Everybody knows about it. And I never thought I would actually get here because it's just not on the way to anywhere. I would say it's a lot more beautiful in person because you really get a feel for how big it actually is mm -hmm. and how much time it probably took them to carve the faces of the presidents. So there's George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and then Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. I'm sure you know who he is. These are all former U.S. presidents, and they chose these people because they found them to be one of the most influential and helped make up U.S. history. 
No. George Washington was the first president ever. Yeah, during some of the most important times in U.S. history, these different presidents were presidents. They helped <laughs> shape the what the U.S. is. So this was built to attract people, just the grandeur of the beauty of the rock, and also to help tell the story of U.S. history and influential people. So I was afraid that this place would be all hype. I thought I heard that it seems smaller in person and that it's actually better in pictures, but that's not true. Not the case. It's actually, it's actually very cool in person and it seems just as big as it does in pictures. Fun fact, it took about a million dollars to build this and 14 years to finish it. Wow. How many people worked on it? Years. I don't know. I didn't look that up, but <laughs> that's incredible. You really, when you look at this, you really wonder, like, how did they make this? They must have had harnesses attached to the top, and then worked on the rock day in and day out. Yeah. What year was it built? <laughs> it was completed in 1941, which means that it was started in the 20s. Wow. So it's been here for a long time. Just sitting there. Out in the elements. Popping in with another fun fact. Three million people visit this annually. Three million. Wow. And that's saying a lot because it's in the middle of nowhere. You have to come here basically to see that. The actual carving was done by a team of 400 men. I assumed it was like one artist and maybe a couple people helping him out, but 400 men for 14 years? Can you imagine the wow. achievement you would feel after this was finished? 14 years of your life working on this and then, wow, it is spectacular. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go get some Andrew Jackson ice cream. So 90% of this was actually carved with dynamite. That's how they started the construction of this thing, just blowing holes in the side of the mountain with dynamite. And then after that, they had sculptors go in and do kind of the fine details. Cross that off the bucket list. All right, we have soaked up the beauty of this landmark and we are gonna maybe continue driving along Custer State Park, see if we can see some more wildlife and then grab some food and head to bed. Before we grab real food, we're gonna grab some presidential ice cream. Take a look at this. Saying yeah. goodbye yeah. to Mount Rushmore. <laughs> look, we're gonna have memorial team ice cream. Everyone seems to be walking around with this. Look, Thomas Jefferson ice cream. I think that's really cool and it's random. It's a marketing tactic that's working on ours. <laughs> it's working. Joy in his face. I would not get ice cream if it weren't for that. So supposedly this is Thomas Jefferson's own ice cream recipe. So this is a very, very old ice cream recipe. So this recipe is from the 1780s. This Thomas Jefferson's own ice cream recipe. Again, you have to get vanilla to get his actual recipe. They have chocolate and other flavors, but let's give it a try. Old ice cream. Mmm. <laughs> it's like homemade, homemade ice cream. Very creamy. Is it Want to try? Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. It really has a vanilla flavor. This was $6. So I guess it costs more to get the vanilla because it's his original recipe and everything. Who knew he was like, made ice cream? Yeah, America's first ice cream. He's a well-rounded guy. <laughs> yeah. He knew what was important in life, ice cream. So good, this is why he's up on that mountain. <laughs> he made the best ice cream. Just kidding guys. Changed the course of US history. Let's go. Okay, that's the end of our day today. We decided to cut it short because it is extremely cold and it's starting to rain. I guess two days ago it was 90 degrees Fahrenheit and now it's about 50 degrees or less. So it's extremely cold. With the wind, it's very, very cold. The yes. wind is really strong right now. So yeah, we're gonna head to Hill City, which is the city that's pretty much closest to Mount Rushmore. And we'll see you in a couple days. 
Hello. This is oh, the travel oh, bomb. Hello. I subscribed to your channel. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you like travel, travel videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. Like and comment. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Alex made a new best friend. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna go like, oops. <laughs> he's kind of hard. Ah, oh, he's a tough guy. He doesn't hey, even flinch. That was a nice. You hurt Alex. So there's George Washington, Thomas Jess. <laughs> so there's. So there's. <laughs> so. so it was finished in 1941, which means it started in the early 30s. Not 20s. 1920s. <laughs> <laughs> 1920s it began. <laughs> I'm going to In Mexico. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Mexico City. In Mexico. 